Hey guys, here we go. I'm actually just uh, gearing up for a plan trip on Tuesday. So it's just gonna be like a 50 kilometer ride. The usual, st the usual stuff. I'm going to C5 and uh, going to Manila. That's it. But to tell you about Tuesday's trip, it will be nice. So Tuesday's trip is a trip to Laguna Lake. Well, I'm not going to the lake. But uh, I'm going to go around the lake. <laughs> so I also have roped in one of my friends. So the two of us will be going around the lake. The estimated is going to be 200 kilometers. So we just left. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. So this is the part of Ortigas extension that goes up to the Mangahan floodway. So uh, in my last video, I had a request that I ako ng footage ng papunta sa kanila. So yan, so special request to. So yan, uh, sinagot ko na request mo ha? So shout out sa'yo. So tuloy-tuloy lang to Pacquiat. And you see on the right side yung, uh, yung Mangahan floodway. So this is the bridge that goes on top of it. So guys, you can see Medyo basa yung ground kasi Kumulan siya this morning And now I'm in the east road I'm going to C6 actually, hindi pala C5 So C6 is the sedan ko So ito yung daan ko ko itong C6 Sa next uh, intersection, doon ako pumunta sa kanan Six. 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 So here, makikita mo yung parang mga structures na yan sa harap. So para silang mga gates na nagko-control ng mga ng water flow into Manila. Coming from Laguna de Bay. So marami ka makikita ng ganyan mamaya. Actually, into line na ito, uh, it goes over the Pasig River. So, yeah, this is the start of the Pasig River. On the left side is the, the Laguna de Bay. Uh, As so the right side, papasok na yan ang Manila. Lalabas na yan ang Manila Bay. The nice thing about this place is it's very cool. Ano mo kami ka hangin? Partly also because this morning so it's not so bad at this time of the day. Time check is actually 3.15 p.m. So at a normal 
So, parating na tayo sa exit ng C6 tapos immediately after exiting meron kagad paakyat so dapat maging handa sa gears hindi baka mabitin so i pace na alam mo yung yung dadaanan mo ahead of time para makapagplano ko na kagad makapag shift ka na kagad sa gear lalo na yung ganyan hindi makita ko anong nasa harap mo Ayan. Dito medyo masikip kasi matraffic sa intersection dito. So, ito talaga binabaan ko na yung gear ko kasi mabagal tapos medyo may, may, may gradient dito. Mas kailangan mas may control sa bisikleta, paakyat. para sa kaliwa natin is the Department of Science and Technology. At meron akong nakilala na nagkatrabaho dyan. So, at gusto siyang gusto niya magpa-shoutout. Si Dr. Varsolo Sunyo, shoutout sa'yo. So, good luck sa trabaho mo dyan. So, yan. Nandito na tayo sa Bikutan Interchange. So, kung hindi nyo pa nakikita yung is one of my videos, sinabi ko na this is one of the craziest intersections dito sa Metro Manila. So, kailangan talaga on the lookout ka, left and right. Meron mga sasakyan na magagaling mo saan-saan. So, talaga mag-iingat lang. So, yan na. Dito na tayo sa Barangay Don Bosco. Alam ko, sa kaliwa natin is the Better Living Subdivision. Tapos, nandiyan yata sa loob yung Mary Help of Christians. Na parang place for devotion para sa mga Bosconians. So, nung bata ako, nag-aaral ako sa Don Bosco. Tapos tatanda ko lang doon na nagtali kami ng mga balloons in the form of a rosary, tapos pinalipad namin. That's the sound of an airplane. We're just right beside the runway of Pinoy Aquino International Airport. So just on the right side. So here you can see huge uh, structures above. Well, about 30 years ago, none of these were in existence. So imagine after 30 years, you have all these uh, concrete structures na nakakatakot. So when I arrived in Manila about four years ago, 
parang na talagang na overwhelmed ako while I was looking at them. Well, ganito ang technique ko kapag magkakross ng malawak na intersection kagaya nito. So, kukunin ko na yung bike lane. Tapos, ayan. Patawid ako. Tapos, position na lang dito. Since mag-left naman ako. Here you can see the new IKEA. They say this is the biggest IKEA in the world now. So it's just open. And see a huge humongous box building. Dahil kabukas ka lang ng IKEA, ayan, mahaba ang pila papasok ng building. Siguro magpa-park lahat yan at mag-shopping. Uh, partly also because, uh, yun nga, mababa ng mga cases sa Metro Manila. So talaga lahat ng mga tao gusto lumabas. So there you go. theater. So mga kabatch ko dyan sa Masai. Shout out sa inyo lahat. Dito tayo lahat gumagawa ng 1997. Thank you. 
that shop. We were just outside the walls of Intramuros. So, ito papasok na tayo sa one of the gates of Intramuros or the, the wall inside the walls. So, kanina dinana natin yung sa side, makikita natin yung golf course. We were in the Immaculate Conception Cathedral, which is the Cathedral of Manila. So a short ride away from the Manila Cathedral is also one of the more iconic churches in the Philippines which is called the, the Church of San Agustin. So the church is famous for or is very popular for weddings and um, they do this one after the other. So they have a time limit and you're not supp you're supposed to follow strictly to the to the letter of the program so that you don't overstay in the church yan silip tayo ng konti kung ano makikita natin sa loob meron meron nga nangyayaring kasal dyan So this is not just popular for wedding weddings, but also for tourists. So actually, on our left is a museum. I visited it only once, and I think it was worthwhile visiting again. So I encourage you guys to go there, you know, even though you have to pay a bit, because it's really nice. And here, just in front of us, is what you call the Casa de Manila and I'm sure you also noticed the the cobblestones uh, medyo mahirap siya para sa road bike <laughs> masakit matagtag well here you see the entrance to one of the underpasses of Manila. So it was completely redesigned thanks to the new mayor. And I think it's part of the beautification uh, efforts that they've been doing in the past two years. And of course, Manila is really becoming much more charming nowadays because the, the sunset. You know? And here you see the National Museum. Now there are, I think, three national museums already. Here in front of us is the iconic city hall. And 
here we are approaching the famous Gyapo Church. So here I'm passing through Legarda and to my right is this Arellano University and going straight up to the bridge will actually connect me to Santa Mesa. So here is uh, Shaw Boulevard. So dire direction na lang ito. Makarating na tayo sa bahay at makapagpahinga. Last night I saw a couple of guys that I know. A shout out or something like that. Hey Zion. Hey Al. Hey Renzo. Hey Vaughn. So that's saying in that. Until next time. Don't forget to 
like, comment, subscribe, and click the bell button to be notified of more of these videos. Bye, good night.